Anthropic AI just launched Claude 3. Is it better than ChatGPT? Well, this AI chatbot is not just another new AI tool in the vast ocean of AI tools. It's a game changer that's setting the bar higher for artificial intelligence. Anthropic's Claude 3, also known as Claude 3 Opus or Claude 3 Sonnet, represents a significant leap forward, bringing us an AI chatbot that's not just better than ChatGPT, it's in a league of its own, as we'll see briefly in some benchmark tests later in the video. Remember to check out the AI Video Maker course in the description and pin comment below. You'll learn cool ways to make money with AI videos and you can try it out for just $1. Let's check out what is Anthropic Claude 3 AI chatbot and how to use it. So to get to the Claude 3 AI tool, just Google up Claude 3. You can come through to any one of these links, but click this one here and you get a little bit of a summary as to what Claude's all about. And down the bottom, we have some of the capabilities that it talks about, which we'll go into a bit later. Then we have the three different flavors of Claude, Haku, Sonnet and Opus. But let's come back up to the top here and try Claude. Once you click here, you'll need to register with just an email address or a Google account. So I'm gonna sign in with my Google account. And yes, you'll need to verify with a phone number as is quite normal with most of these AI chatbot programs. And then we'll click verify and create account. Here's the introduction to the interface. First, it'll get you to put in your name so that it knows how to address you. I'm just gonna put in my first name and send that off. Just a couple of privacy agreements here. Acknowledge that and continue. So just agree to that and begin. Here's the Claude interface and we can start with a message to Claude, upload an attachment and then kick off the chat. Claude keeps you updated with what's new, such things as working with images to recommend style improvements, generate a recipe from a dish, which is pretty cool and understand complex equations, so maths problems and coding. This video is not going to be an in-depth tutorial of how to best use Claude. It's more of an introduction, how to use it, and also comparing benchmarks with ChatGPT and other AI chatbot programs. But let's just do a quick comparison of how it compares with the power of ChatGPT. And here's an answer. And rather than Claude going on and talking about how much better it is than ChatGPT, it takes a safe route and says, it is just preferring to focus on being as capable and helpful as it can be. So we'll do another example to write 10 prompts that a basic AI video generator could use to generate some AI videos. So I could then copy and paste any of these prompts into an AI video generator such as OpenAI Sorrow. However, OpenAI Sorrow is not available yet to the public. So you could use something like Pixverse, which I talk about in this video here to generate some short AI generated videos. So that's how to use Claude 3. How about let's have a look at the different subscription options that we have. So Claude 3 you can see costs 20 US dollars per month which is the same as ChatGPT. And what do you get? Well you get access to Claude 3 Opus which in the tier of Haku, Sonnet and Opus is the most powerful in the three different flavors of Claude 3. But I'm already subscribed to ChatGPT so I don't actually need Claude 3. Let's learn more about Claude Pro and you can see that Claude Pro has five times the usage compared to the free service and your message limit resets every eight hours. Here are some guidelines on when the limits start applying and a little bit of information about how to use it better. There's not a lot of information around what you get for the free version other than in the frequently asked questions where it talks about that it's free to use with usage limitations. So this is to say that like with ChatGPT in its early days, once you use it for an amount of time in the day, it'll probably send you a message saying that you've used all your free prompts for the day and you have to wait eight hours or even a day for it to reset. While we're in the frequently asked questions section, we can just see a little bit more information about Claude here and what you can use it for. So is Anthropic Claude 3 better than ChatGPT? Well, in the announcement section of Claude 3, we can see down the bottom here that Claude 3 shows increased capabilities in all of these things here. And we have a comparison here of Claude's three different flavors with GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, along with Gemini Ultra and Pro. So we can see in these tests here that Claude 3 is at least equal to or better than every other competitor. And even the free Claude 3 Sonnet is beating many of ChatGPT-4's benchmark scores, as well as ChatGPT-3.5 and Gemini Pro. Coming down a little bit further, there is another section here where it runs through a few other benchmark tests and it is equal to or better than in all of these tests as well when compared to ChatGPT and Google Gemini. Speaking of Gemini, it is quite new. It's a rehash of Google Bard. So check out this video here to see a little bit more about Gemini and how to use it. And here are a few other areas of improvement with Claude 3 over Claude 2. 
just whizzing down here. And also Claude 3 performs really well in a needle in the haystack test, which I won't go into in this video, but it's a good thing. In general, Anthropic is claiming that Claude 3 is easy to use and has more details than previous models of Claude. The key takeaway here is in my opinion, to get the best use out of ChatGPT, you need to pay for ChatGPT Plus to access GPT-4. However, you can use Claude 3 free to get the same or sometimes better power than with ChatGPT. So in that sense, Claude 3 is better than ChatGPT. Amazing free AI tools are frequently being launched, so check out this video now to see the best new free AI video generator that is available to use now. Also subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.